All right, on this video, we're going to look at these couple of problems. Explain how you can use the SSS, SAS, ASA, AAS with CPCTC to prove the statement is true. Now, the first thing we want to do is that CPTC is nothing more than stating when two triangles are congruent or basically the same pattern. Corresponding parts are equal. CPCTC is an abbreviation used. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. All right. So the first one is telling us that this side, TV, is congruent with YW. But we also want to look at the actual diagram that they provide. We have an angle here and an angle congruent with this angle, angle, and a side. Well, we know it's going to involve two angles and a side. But it's important to note the side is off of one angle, not both of them. So when this occurs, it's going to be something like this, whereas an AAS, when two angles and a non-included side of a triangle are equal to the corresponding angles and sides of another triangle, then the triangles are said to be congruent. So here we see a similar diagram. Whereas we have two angles, but the side is not shared with the two angles. So this would be an AAS. Now the second one tells us that the BE side is congruent with the DE. But let's again look at the actual diagram here. So we have a, effectively E as an angle. BEC, DEC, these angles are sharing and the C angle is sharing. So if you was to mentally split this out, you would have a BCE over here with a two angles. And then over on this side, you would have CDE sharing the middle line here. So if we was to look for that in our angles theorems we would look at this and asa is two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle and if the included sides are congruent then the triangles are congruent well if we look at this two diagrams here we could technically turn this around and put it right up against here and we would have our angles look very much the same sharing the one side, which would be your AZX and BCA. So this would technically be an ASA. So this third one shows it is a KN is congruent with ML. But we're also kind of told that it looks like this KL and NM is sharing the same side as well as being congruent. So technically we already have two sides of each of the triangles that are congruent to each other. And when we have two sides, then the third one, if longer, hypotenuse, then it is a congruent triangles. So I'm thinking that this one is going to be more of this type of theorem, SSS for all three sides. Two angles at the three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of the other, then two are congruent. So if we was to look at that, we would technically see that we're told here, we're shown here, which leaves us the third side. So this would be an SSS.